your iPhone is great how it comes. But you can make it even better with just a few minutes of your time. Hey guys, my name is Kashif and here in this video, I'll tell you 10 iPhone settings you should change right now. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. The first one. Turn off iPhone analytics and system services to stop sharing data with Apple. Apple needs to have diagnostic and uses data of your iPhone to improve your overall experience. However, you get the complete freedom to opt out of these things at your own terms to take control of these settings. Open settings app, then privacy, then location services and scroll down and tap on system services. On this screen, you can disable the access to a ton of things like location-based Apple ads, suggestions, iPhone analytics, and more. Fine-tune everything as per your needs. Number second is disable video autoplay. The short previews of apps and games are helpful as they let you snap a quick look at what they have to offer. However, they can drain out of your iPhone battery and also eat into plenty of your cellular data. But don't worry as you can easily disable the video autoplay to browse through the app store with complete peace of mind. To get it done, jump into the settings app, then iTunes and app store, tap on video autoplay. Now you can choose turn off to complete disable these features or allow the video to play only on Wi-Fi. Number third is change the passcode to alphanumeric. A four digit password isn't recommended for a couple of reasons. First, it's a tad easier to guess and also you know how devastating it can be for your sensitive info. To change the passcode to alphanumeric, open the settings app, then face and touch ID, hit change passcode, then enter your old passcode, tap on passcode option. Choose custom alphanumeric and then set a strong passcode as usual. Now number fourth is disable USB accessories. USB restricted mode is a well thought out of security feature that shields your iPhone against hacking. It prevents your device from connecting to an accessory if it hasn't been unlocked for more than an hour. To make sure this security is on, head over to settings app and then face ID, touch ID or passcode. Then be sure that the switch for the USB accessories is turned off. Don't get confused because when the switch is on, accessories will be allowed to connect to your device without any restriction. Number fifth is limit microphone and camera access to certain apps. You may have allowed many apps to access your microphone and camera on your iPhone. But did you know that you could completely stop these apps from using your mic or the camera? It's quite simple to put the plug on them. Fire up the settings app, scroll down and tap on privacy. Now tap on the microphone and turn off the switch which you no longer want to use your mic. Similarly, you can tap on camera and then disable the switch for the apps which you want to stay away from your device camera. Number six is enable true tone and night shift. True tone and night shift are designed to enhance the viewing experience. While True Tone automatically adapts your iPhone display as per the ambient lighting condition, Night Shift ideally shifts the colors of the display so that your eyes find it more comfortable to view the content. To enable these features, head over to Settings and then Display and Brightness. Bring True Tone into action. Turn on the switch for it. To activate Night Shift, tap on it and then customize it based on your need. Number seventh is adjust auto lock. iOS automatically locks your iPhone after predefined time when it doesn't detect any human interaction. It not only prevents unnecessary power consumption but also stops from other viewing your content. It's better to keep the auto lock to the minimum level as the screen automatically dims before 10 seconds. The 30 seconds option would be a 2 bit short but uh, so choose either 1 or 2 minute option as it can fit into most of your needs. To fine tune this, open the settings app, tap on display and brightness, then auto lock. Now you should see multiple options like 30 seconds, 1 minute etc. Choose the preferred option keeping in mind the security of your device. Number 8 is enable the Wi-Fi assist. Imagine a situation where you are watching your favorite Netflix shows, suddenly your Wi-Fi connection becomes slow and brings your binge watching to a halt. Wouldn't it better if your device automatically connects to the mobile data when Wi-Fi connection is poor? This is where Wi-Fi assist comes into the play. To turn it on, fire up the settings app, cellular mobile data, scroll down and ensure that the Wi-Fi assist toggle is on. 
Number 9th is optimize storage with high efficiency. By taking full advantage of high efficiency format, you can reduce the file size of your photo and videos by 50%. To me, it's the best way to manage the storage and prevent the device from being cluttered for the space. So never fail to give it a shot. To get going, launch the settings app. Scroll down and tap on camera. Then formats. And make sure high efficiency is selected. Now number 10th is turn on reachability. While big screen iPhone are great for media viewing, web browsing and play games, they aren't convenient to use with one hand. If you find it a bit uncomfortable to use your device one handed, you should take advantage of reachability. To enable it, open the settings app and then scroll down and tap on accessibility. Now tap on touch and then turn on the switch for reachability. Number 11th is disable auto correction in keyboard. Don't get me wrong, I find auto correction in the keyboard app very useful as it enables you to type correctly, but at times it doesn't seem to work spontaneously and may even hinder you from typing fast. If this is the case, you may want to turn it off. To do so, open the settings app, then general and then keyboard and turn off the switch for auto correction. So last but not the least, disable access to Siri, home control, control center when locked. While it's helpful to quickly access some of the most used things like Siri, control center, wallet and more right from the lock screen, it also exposes your privacy. Thus it's better to disable the access to such essential features. To do it, launch the settings app and then face ID or touch ID and passcode slightly swipe down to allow access when locked section. Now you get the option to disable the access to many things like control center, notification center, Siri and more. Turn off the toggles for every feature you wish to project. So that's pretty much it guys. Hope you have adjusted everything to suit your needs better. If you have any query then comment down below and thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one.